Hey, I'm Lucy at Simple Sports, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Wahoo Element Bolt. Let's take a look at that. So as always with Wahoo, we have very nice packaging, lovely little image here along with an overview of the main features. And then in here is the goodies. So got the unit there along with a quarter turn mount that you can pop on your stem or handlebars. Got some zip ties in here. We've got the fixed handlebar mount and this has the aerodynamic design. When it's used in conjunction with the bolt, it's super sleek and uh, just helps to cut through the wind. Here you have the uh, charging cable. Now this is actually USB-C, which is brand new and a difference from the previous Wahoo model. So USB-C offers faster charging as well as it being a better connection into the unit too. It's also more durable. And the great thing about the Wahoo Element Bolt is that you only need to plug it in to charge it. Everything else in regards to uploading routes, uploading your ride to Strava or whatever you use after you finish it is all done wirelessly. Uh, but it's good to see Wahoo have kind of upgraded and gone with the USB-C charging port. And then in here as well, we have a handy little quick start guide. Wahoo products are notoriously very easy and straightforward to set up and go through, um, but they have included this nice little booklet in regards to what all the buttons do, what comes in the box and how it's relevant. So it's been a couple of years since the Bolt was first released and it's great to see some new features being brought into this new model that perhaps the older model was missing. And we're gonna dive into exactly what those features are now. So this new model um, retains the super sleek um, kind of look and aesthetics of the previous model, nice and small, compact design. You have the aerodynamic kind of front end to it. So when it's on the bike, it cuts through the air and helps to save those watts. In terms of the button positioning and uh, what those buttons do, they're exactly the same. This weighs in at just 68 grams. So it's good to know that you're not gonna be adding too much weight to your bike. One of the great new things about this model is that it has a 64 color screen. So this is perfect on features like the mapping in particular, um, where it's gonna help to pick out certain points on the map, stuff like rivers that you can see here, as well as bigger roads on there as well. The color screen is also great if you're putting in an effort and certain data fields will light up in different colors, meaning that you can really easily see exactly what data you need to. So Wahoo have said that this new model of the Bolt is simple to see, simple to use, and simple to navigate. And they definitely have covered those points off. So as I said, simple to see through the color screen, simple to use, Wahoo products are always simple and straightforward to set up. In terms of pairing with your phone, you just download the Wahoo Element uh, Companion app. Uh, that's available on Android and also Apple. So to pair your phone, you just head to the main settings menu. You go on pair phone, it will come up with a QR code and then it's very straightforward. Finds that straight away and then it's paired. Like I mentioned previously, you don't need to plug the device into a computer or anything like that to get roots on it. Again, this is all done in the Wahoo Element Companion app. So this new model comes with loads more memory packed inside of it. It comes with a 16 gigabyte memory storage on there and it also comes with world mapping preloaded on there, all good to go. So with the bigger internal memory, it now means you can store many more training plans as well as more routes on the device as well. So the device actually comes with three preloaded training plans from Team Ineos on there as well as two FTP tests. So if you're new to using data um, or power in your riding, then that's a really nice way to get started. Or perhaps it gives you another way to just mix things up a little bit in your riding. You can use those through your indoor smart turbo trainer or you can use them out on the road as well, whichever you prefer. Now that leads me nicely on to mention the fact that this device can actually control your Wahoo uh, Kicker smart turbo trainer 
or the Wahoo Kicker bike as well, which is another nice feature and it just fits in nicely with the Wahoo ecosystem. So this device will also integrate with your electronic group set system if you have one of those. So whether you have Shimano DI2, the SRAM ETAP access system, Cab Pagnola EPS. So it'll give you an indication of what gear you're in through the data fields on the screen. As I mentioned previously, the charging point on this new device is a USB-C. So you get faster charging, it's more durable, and there's also a better connection. Now that's just kept in there nice and neatly with a good little waterproof seal on there. Keeps out any water or grit or other elements uh, from there too. Now the buttons are really easy and simple to use. They have an added bit of grit on there so they're not completely flat. This helps to know, um, especially if you're wearing gloves or it's really cold and you can't quite feel your fingers, that you are actually pressing down on the buttons. Um, they're also nice and durable, which is great. These are also paired with the screen that's made out of Gorilla Glass. Nice and tough, nice and durable. If you do end up dropping the device on the floor, um, it's a lot less likely to kind of smash or crack. Now, a great thing about the Wahoo Element computer range is these little LED lights on the top here. Um, so these will flash up um, in certain situations. For example, when you start your ride, it'll also show your average. Now, average is something you can set up in the Wahoo Companion app. Now, this can be average power, average speed, average heart rate, um, whichever is your personal preference, really. So let's take a closer look at one of the main new features for this device, which is the smart navigation features. Now, these are the something that's seen on the Wahoo Element Roam, but it's now great to see them on the Wahoo Element Bolt as well. So these are features such as retrace ride, route to start, take me to, and you can also select what type of surface you're riding on. So if you're deciding to take out the road bike, you can have road, or there is also profiles for cross, hybrid bike, mountain bike, and back to the road. So you can select whichever one is suitable and it will route um, the course specifically for that sort of bike and terrain. A closer look at some of these features. So Retrace Ride will take you um, back exactly the way you came uh, following the route that you've recorded on this computer. Route to Start will take you the quickest way back to the start. So it won't necessarily take you back the way you came. Say if you're not actually that far from where you started, it will be able to find where you started and take you the best route. So with Take Me To, you can select a location on the map, but also you can have a number of saved locations on the device as well. I could select if I knew there was somewhere near that I wanted to get to. You can easily just scroll using the buttons on the side of the computer, select a pinpoint on where you want to go, and then it will route you the best way to get there. So the Wahoo Companion app that you use through your smartphone is a really key and valuable tool to use in conjunction with this. On that, you can um, enter a location where you want to go. For example, your closest Sigma Sports shop, um, and then it'll route you through that and it'll send the route from your app on the phone to the device here. As I mentioned, it's really good. You don't need to plug it into a computer or anything like that. You just need to plug it in purely for charging. So that was a closer look at the Wahoo Element Bolt. It's great to see the new features on this device, such as the 64 color screen, as well as numerous smart navigation features. I love that it's in the small, compact, lightweight device and with the extra um, room for mapping and workouts on there as well. If you wanna take a closer look at this device, then we've put a link in the description to it on the Sigma Sports website. You can check out the playlist at the side of this video for more of our unboxing videos. So let me know what you think of this device in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel as we'll have more videos coming very, very soon. And we'll see you next time.